Oh, we're going to push it. We're going to go the distance. We're going to fart our way into this last black and ranch and get it done. It's black hoodie. I'm back cooking these goodies. Look at these views from cooking these foods. Yeah. All right, yo, what is up? What is good with y'all? Today I have myself a little half hard, half soft. Not the best way to go to boat business, boys. Just so you know, in the future, half hard, half soft doesn't really work out that well. What I'm saying is I've got homemade Taco Bell, really is what I'm saying. So my attempt at a little homemade Taco Bell, I kept it super simple how they do it with just like the really fine beef, the fine shredded cheese and the fine shredded lettuce and then just some sauce. My favorite style, to be honest with you. I don't like to overcomplicate. So let's get into this. I got uh, a little attempt at a homemade Taco Bell mild sauce to add per bite. And then we got all those black and ranch from the other day from Popeyes. We're going in with the black and ranch today. And then we have a sack of piped sour cream to add on a per bite basis as well. So I, uh, I generally prefer a hard taco, but these to me are so like they just remind me so nostalgia styles of uh see that see that beef simple lettuce cheese this right here for me is going to the movies when i was a teenager because my uh movie theater got a Taco Bell randomly, like when movie theaters started selling hot food at random. You know, it wasn't just the popcorn and the sweets anymore. They started having like real food places. I used to hit Taco Bell so hard before the movie. I think I've told you guys this before, but we're going to talk about it again. Okay, I'll buy it. Shaky today, I promise. I am still sober as a judge, but... Uh, the shakes still have not really, they're still around, but also I haven't eaten anything today. So it could be low blood sugar. All right, let's go. Mm, just perfect. And that's how they are exactly how they are like in the theater with Taco Bell they just make them like kind of nice and thin wrap them in that paper they throw them in the bag mm -hmm. you get to your seat get situated by the time they came out of the bag the wrapper would almost like stick to the tortilla. Cause they'd essentially be steamed at that point. And they would just stink up the area. <laughs> this guy's dipping a cheesy Wetzel's pretzel or some shit. And I'm just about to take six to eight soft tacos to the face and try to make them last longer <laughs> than previous. <laughs> All right, now, same thing on this guy, simple, simple. I did give these a little bit of a toast and uh, they got a little hoodie noir, if you will. They got very kind of dark, but this is that black and ranch. And I'm so intrigued to know how this is going to taste. All right, black and ranch, crispy taco. Something tells me this is going to be amazing. Mm. Oh, man. That is something oh wow oh 
That's the best. That is a new invention. Wow. So juicy, it's got grease drip. Unbelievable. About as unbelievable as his face. <laughs> I'm so glad I did a mix. The 50-50 split of the hard and the soft. Okay, this one is sour cream and the mild sauce. I don't know if it's gonna be better than Black Ranch. Hmm. It is good. But is it better? No, not Black Ranch. Taco? Uh oh, we're sliding. It's something different. No, don't do that. Dropping the guts. Gotta pick up the guts. These are way better than Taco Bell. Like infinitely better. Black and Ranch, but on the soft. Mm-hmm. What do you like better? Hard or soft? I feel like most people like hard. And I will say, Oh yeah, why? Texture, a little extra, extra flavor, but there is something about the mouthfeel sometimes of a soft, chewy, steamy taco. And that butt bite with this black and ranch. Incredible. The reason why I got all nostalgic about the soft tacos is because my sister was like, would you want to go see uh, Jackass, the new Jackass movie in theaters? And uh, I haven't been to a movie theater in who knows how long, like years. And now that they're open again, like you don't need masks, no mandates and all that. <clears throat> I was like, yeah, we could go see it for sure. I haven't gone yet. Um, but in my head, I was like, I wish there was still that Taco Bell because it just brought up those memories of getting really high <laughs> and getting like that soggy Taco Bell in the theater. But they don't have it anymore. They discontinued it, which sucks. I'm not sure why they got rid of it. I think they still have a pretzel place and New York fries maybe. New York fries is pretty bomb. Expensive though. That's why Taco Bell was a shit, because it was so bang for your buck. Y'all know that's so Taco Bell right there. Come on. You can't tell me that's not. 
I also thought to myself, like, after when she asked me if I do want to go see Jackass, I was like, do I want to see Jackass? Because I'll be honest, when I was younger, it's like, I was more able to... watch or appreciate that stupid shit like people getting hurt and gross stuff but now that I'm at this age I'm like do I really even want to subject myself to that Do I want to see people getting hurt and like pierced with things? Like whatever they're going to do, I don't know. It freaks me out. To think of what's going to transpire in the film. All right, I suppose we have to do this, the, 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 the triple threat, the sour cream, the mild, and the black and ranch all in one, right? Very nice. Still not as good as just the black and red. Top tier tacos though. I'm at the point of getting gut busted, and y'all know that I would usually just throw in the towel, but today, oh, we're going to push it. We're going to go the distance. We're going to fart our way into this last black and ranch and get it done to those who hate to see me not finish the whole amount of food. I feel it. You know what? We're going to roll this one up and just make it easier for myself. Make it like a little taquito. A little burrito action. Okay. That's the move. Make it more manageable. But yo, shout out to y'all having a nice Saturday. I'm going to watch Supercross. which my ritual for Supercross used to definitely be have some drinks. <laughs> I love getting buzzed and watching my favorite, my only sport that I watch. Still enjoyable without it though. He's full. He's very full. He's in Struggle City. But he's going to get there. The sodium levels right now are extremely high. Oh, okay. Those were incredible. Really, really, really good. Like, comment if you enjoyed it. And until the next one.
Y'all know what to do. Eat good, live well, and stay true.